So I have noticed something about an ambiguous black man who claimed to be like pro-black and stuff. I noticed they're not really that pro-black. And I'm going to tell you something I noticed too. I'm currently dating one of those pro-black people who is very pro-black. He has dreads and everything. He has really long dreads down past his butt. Um, but it, I just be catching them saying slick shit, like, especially when it comes to my skin complexion, <laughs> almost as if they fetishize it. I notice when he's talking shit to me in like a flirtatious way or something, he'll say, he'll call me yellow something, you yellow something, I'm gonna tell your yellow ass up, or some, stuff like that, I'll catch him, his friends call me that. All these pro-black men, and I notice they talk big shit about, you know, how they don't like the right white race and all of this stuff. And you know how, um, what's his name, Dr. Umar is? <laughs> like those type of black men. The whole time, they'll have a whole light-skinned girlfriend. But she's black, though, so it's okay, right? But I will never see them with, even when I hear them talk about darker-skinned women, it's so disgusting. Like, there'll be some, a dark female on the TV, for example, and they'll talk about how dark this person is in a talking shit type of way. Uh, that person's black as fuck. Like, and they'll say stuff like that, but it's like, but in my head, like, but I thought she was a pro-black. What's wrong with being black as fuck? And he was like, but that's too black. But I thought she was pro-black. Like, what's going on here? I noticed that with more than one guy I dated, they're very, like, they have this obsession with lighter-skinned black women. And I think there's a, some type of internal conflict going on. And I think they just use the fact that we're black, monoracial black, as an excuse. They'll date lighter-skinned, monoracial black women. Most of the, they'll be the lighter-skinned black, monoracial women because she's still black, right? So I feel like they use it as kind of like a, a cop-out excuse. I don't know if I'm the only one. I mean, I know I'm not the only one who's who goes through dating colorist men who claim to be pro-black but are really low-key colorists. It's almost like it, it's a fetish or something. It's really weird and cringy sometimes. The way they talk about you when you're light-skinned. And they use it like it's, I swear to you, my name is Yellow. Not missing between my real name. I mean, y'all don't know my real name, but in real life, like, that is my other nickname. I swear it is. Like, Yellow is my other nickname. It is. Because any, any time I go around unambiguous black men, sometimes the females, too, a lot of the times, but the females don't try to use it like it's a nickname. Well, they'll kind of do it. Like my friend, for example, when I was in the military, she was doing my hair, and she has said something. She'll say stuff like, I wish I was yellow like you, and what else did she say? She would say stuff like certain hairstyles she didn't think I should get because I was too yellow for that, or... What else? I'm trying to think of an example of what she would say, like specifically. But it was my my skin color would just come up randomly when it comes to like when she was she, like she liked to, she knew how to do hair, so she would help me out while while we were overseas. And I just remember her always mentioning my skin complexion. I'm like I didn't and you know I didn't know about exoticals versus unambiguous consciously yet at the time so i knew there was a difference between us but i was like girl i'm black just like you i just look a little different i don't know you know what i'm saying we didn't have exoticals united back then <laughs> to wake us all up to this shit. like we were subconsciously aware that these things there were differences and people treated us different because of our phenotype but now we know consciously and we're aware of it and we now know, like, the humbling tactics that they're going to use against us and everything now. So we're a lot smarter and we can protect ourselves better. You know what I'm saying? But this was just a real quick video I wanted to make about 
the pro-black men who claim to be pro-black secretly are, I don't want to say, not, and you know it's not all of them. Of course it's not all of them, but if they have a light-skinned girlfriend and then their ex probably was light-skinned, even my current boyfriend, all of them, he said I'm the lightest girl he's ever dated, but that's a lie. Because the other, he dated a biracial girl before, and she was lighter than me. Uh, so I don't know why he said that, but like, but you're supposed to be so pro-black. Like he studies African American literature and all of this stuff like heavily. Um, he follows Dr. Umar type of content creators and stuff. But at the same time, I don't think he's ever been with actually anybody that has his phenotype. Just to say that, anytime I hear, ever overhear him talking about stories of him dating a dark-skinned girl, he has to mention the fact that she was bad. Like, I dated a bad dark-skinned girl. It's like, I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, what do you ladies think? Do you guys date colorist men or have dated colorist men on the low? Like, supposed to be pro-black, but are really colorist or haven't figured it out internally yet? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys next time.